So for this project, I will be using a size G crochet hook some sugar and cream crochet cotton, and this is the size four medium weight cotton. And you'll also want a little pair of scissors and a little yarn needle for weaving in the end. So I'm going to be using a solid color for my little dishcloth, but you can also use a variegated color and you'll get a really pretty pattern that looks like this. So, but we're going to be doing solid color today, so I'll scooch this over. I just wanted to show you what that looks like if you wanted to use a pretty variegated color. So to start out, I'm going to make a little slip knot. Let's try that again so you can see how I slip knot. So I loop the yarn around and then scoot the end under so that it makes a little pretzel. And then I take this little piece of the yarn and scoot it up, up, up. And that makes a little slip knot. Now I am going to chain 50. So I'm gonna start with a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 6, oh, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh dear, why is my yarn splitting? Okay, 20, <laughs> 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, halfway there, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, and 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. So we've got a little chain of 50. Now we're going to look at the fourth chain from the hook. So one, two, three, four, and we're going to put a single crochet right there. So insert your hook into that chain, draw up a loop, then yarn over and draw through two loops. There we go. And now we're going to chain one, skip the next little chain on our starting chain and single crochet into the next chain. And we're just going to repeat that all the way down our chain. So I'm going to chain one and skip the next chain on my starting chain and then single crochet into the next chain. So chain one, skip one and single crochet. Chain one, skip one, single crochet. Chain one, skip one, single crochet, chain one, skip one, single crochet, chain one, skip one, single crochet, and chain one, skip one, and single crochet. So you can see we're making this nice little pattern of chains and single crochets all the way down our little chain that we started. Chain one, skip one, single crochet. And I love this pattern. Chain one, skip one, single crochet because it is so beginner friendly. 
chain one, skip one, single crochet. Since the only thing you need to know how to do is chain and single crochet. Chain one, skip one, single crochet. So this is definitely the easiest dish towel and one of the easiest stitches. This little pattern that's made out of just single crochets and chains is called the moss stitch in my little crochet pattern book but I've also seen it called the granite stitch, but it is one of the easiest and it makes such a pretty little pattern. Instead of just doing plain, you know, single crochets or something like that, it gives you a cool little pattern and it's super easy. So once we get this little starting row down, it's gonna be even easier because right now we have to actually look at the starting chain and like, you know, skip one but once we start our next row, it's going to be so easy because you just single crochet into your chain one spaces that are already there. So you don't have to like count or think about it too hard. So it's not like one of those patterns. that's really intense where you have to count the whole time. <laughs> okay. We're on our last two chains. So I chain one, skip one, and then single crochet into the very last chain. And our starting row is finished. All right, now we're going to chain two, one, two, and turn our work. And now we're simply going to find that very first chain one space, which is right here next to my last single crochet I did. So right here, and I'm just going to single crochet right there. Now I chain one, find that next chain one space. So I'm skipping the single crochet and going right into that chain one space. And I just do a single crochet there. Chain one, single crochet into my chain one space. Chain one, single crochet into my chain one space. So you can see, oh, split my yarn again, single crochet. So you can see I'm doing a chain above the previous rows a single crochet and I'm doing a single crochet in the previous rows chain and that is the entire pattern <laughs> that is all but um, I'm going to complete this row with you and then show you the next row because at the end of this row we're going to be doing our single crochet in that, let's see, very beginning chain four space that we, remember we did a single crochet into the fourth chain from the hook, so it's a chain three rather. It's a little chain three at the end and that's where we'll be putting our single crochet. So I wanna make sure we get that right. And then you guys can be off to the races on your own because this pattern is just so simple and every row is exactly the same. So chain one, we skip that single crochet and single crochet into the chain one. Chain one, skip our single crochet, single crochet into the chain one. Chain one, skip, single crochet. Chain one, skip this one, single crochet right here. Chain one, skip one, single crochet right here. Chain one, skip one, single crochet here chain one or single crochet here we go now chain one getting near to the end okay so i've done my last single crochet here i've got one one more though so now i'm going to chain one and you can find okay so you see the single crochet which is actually our very very first one that we did and then next to it we have this little chain three space because remember we single crocheted into the fourth one from our hook so we're going to go ahead and single crochet right there. And that is the last single crochet of row two. So now we're going to chain two and turn it. <laughs> if you guys can hear all of that tapping, it's my dogs running into the room. <laughs> Tap, 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 tap their little feet. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now we just did a chain two and turn it and I'm going to single crochet into my first chain one space, chain one, single crochet into that chain one space, 
chain one, single crochet into my chain one space, chain one. So this is a really nice pattern too because since it's got a lot of sing, uh, chain ones in it, it kind of makes it like a looser weave, like it's a kind of a softer, more pliable kind of fabric that it creates. And I like that for, this is probably my favorite kind for drying my dishes and I'll link all of the dish towels down below. But this one I like for drying because it's so easy to maneuver it into like glasses and stuff like that. You know, it's so like soft and whatnot. And this cotton is amazing for drying because of course it's cotton, so it's super um, absorbent. So that's why this is so nice for making dish towels and washcloths and all sorts of good stuff. And it's super durable, so you can wash it so many times. And single crochet, oh, chain one, single crochet and chain one. And you are just going to be repeating this row that we're doing right now, which is row three. You're going to repeat that for as long as you want your dish towel to be. So I usually do about 42 rows. So if this is row three, then I'll have 39 rows to go. And that usually makes my dish towel a perfect square. So all right, now I'm on my very last one. So this time the single crochet is going to be going into a chain two space right here from when we did the chain two and turn, remember that? So we're finding that little chain two space and we're single crocheting right there. Now we're starting our next row, which is exactly like row three, and it's going to be exactly like all of the other rows. So chain two, one and two, and then turn your work around and we're going to work our way all the way back doing a single crochet in that first chain one space and then chain one and single crochet in that chain one space, chain one single crochet. And that's it y'all. So you'll continue this row all the way down and then you will chain two and turn and put your single crochet in that first chain one space. And you're just going to repeat until you have about 42 rows or however many rows you want to uh, make your dish cloth as long or as short as you want it. <laughs> I like mine to be all perfectly square so that I can fold them and they look pretty in my drawer in my kitchen. You know, they can look all pretty and um, organized when I'm not using them. <laughs> but you can do yours however you want. <laughs> so just continue on down and I'll catch up with you when I'm on my last two rows. just completed row 40 and I'm just going to do two more rows to finish this off. So I'm going to chain one and two and flip my work around and do my single crochet in my first one chain space. Oh, let's find it. There we go. <laughs> and chain one and single crochet in my next chain one space and chain one 
and just continue all the way across. So this is row 41, but depending on how loose or how tight you crochet, your little dishcloth might be long enough at row 40, but I've noticed mine's a little short if I stop at 40, so I like to hop on over to 42 and it seems to be just perfect. So do you guys see how this um, moss stitch is kind of a nice like open weave, it's not too dense. I love this for a dishcloth. I think it is just perfect. The cotton like absorbs moisture and then when you lay it out, it dries nicely because like I said, it's not too dense. It's kind of just nice and open, like a nice light stitch. And it just looks pretty. Comment down below and tell me what color you guys are doing. <laughs> I love having pink in my kitchen, so. Pretty much all of my dish towels are either this color or the variegated pink that I showed you earlier in the video. Oh. And just continuing on my little chains and single crochets. All right, this is the end of row 41 and I'm going to do my single crochet in that little two chain space. And now chain two and turn. And our very last row, row 42. So I'm going to find that little space there and single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain two. I mean, <laughs> second chain one, <laughs> single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one. <laughs> Can you see how this is such an easy pattern too? You can just kind of zone out and watch a movie or listen to an audio book. I like it when they're super repetitive like this because, um, yeah, I mean, just for that reason, I like to listen to audio books or do this for family movie night. It's fun, it keeps your hands busy and this is a really cute gift gift that you could make for someone for like Christmas or housewarming. Like if you do three different little dish pattern, uh, dish towels that are crocheted with different patterns, like this seed stitch and um, there's a lemon peel stitch or orange peel. I don't remember. <laughs> and, um, but it's a really pretty texture. I'll link that video down below too. And the shell pattern, if you did like all, like both of those and this one too, the moss stitch, you'd have a really pretty set of three dish towels that are such a beautiful little gift for someone. And we're almost to the end here. And this little dish towel, because it's worked with single crochets, takes me a little more than an hour. I'd say maybe about an hour and a half. So if you're a beginner, beginner, it might take you about two and a half hours or so. Okay, we're on our very last one. So I'm gonna chain one and do my single crochet in that little chain two space. And there we go. How lovely. Now I'm going to cut my yarn here and weave in my ends. So here I can pull this little loop out now and thread my needle. And just run this through the bottom of my stitches here. I like to run them through kind of the bottom of this first row and then I'll bring it all down and run it through the bottom of some of the ones in the second row too, just to make sure it's really good and hidden in there. There we go, and then I can snip that. And then over here on the bottom, I will also thread this little yarn needle and weave this on in here. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope your dish towels turned out just beautiful. <laughs> Comment down below and let me know all about it. Are you making them for yourself or as a gift for someone? What colors did you pick? And then definitely check out my other dish towel videos and I'll see you guys in my next video. Snip this and 
we're all finished. <laughs> Bye.